I know, I know, you don't really get all this talk about 4G. I mean, you think you get it when they say faster, more coverage, better service. But really, what do you need it for? You basically use your phone for calls. And that's not a problem. Well, usually. Oh, and you do use it to check your emails when you're out of the office. And oh, right, when you're waiting for friends to show, or stuck in traffic, or commuting by train. You'll check the weather, your stock prices, the sports results, your Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget the texts you get all day long from your kids when they want something. Or that cool new instant messaging app you just downloaded that allows you to chat for free. So, apart from calling, you see you do use your phone quite a bit for data. And your service provider's network is now bombarded by data. And imagine what's happening to the network when people move around with a laptop, a netbook, an e-reader, and a smartphone. This massive demand for data complicates networks by creating tons more signaling, which if not controlled well, can slow down a network, even to the point of collapse. Excuse me? What's signaling? So, I asked Traffics, the signaling experts, and they told me that signaling is basically what enables your service provider's network to function. And there must be many different types of equipment inside a network to offer both voice and data services. And all of that equipment must be orchestrated together for things to work. Signaling is the network's internal communication system, telling each piece of information where to go, who's authorized to use what services, and how they can use it, like at what speeds, at what locations, how they should be billed, and much, much more. And of course, a communication system needs a language. And the language they use is an IP-based signaling protocol called Diameter. Diameter protocol consists of specially designed data messages that are sent from one network element to another to ensure everything arrives to the right place in the network. So, now you understand how all these data applications escalate the role of signaling. And you can just imagine how a sudden surge in signaling that is not controlled properly can bring a network to its knees. And network outages are not pleasant for anyone. So, it makes sense that data-heavy networks need solutions to intelligently route all the relevant communication to the right places and to ensure their arrival to prevent network overloading and avoid network outages. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. Control of diameter signaling requires expertise in developing intelligent dynamic routing, reliable load balancing solutions, and seamless connectivity gateways. And to succeed, you need software engineers with experience and deep understanding of diameter protocol. And that is what Traffics, with the largest workforce in the world focusing on diameter since 2005, does for telecommunications networks. The engineers at Traffics enable networks to work at optimal speed by controlling the signaling with its signaling delivery controller, a single solution for diameter routing, load balancing, and connectivity challenges. Now, that's all you need to know about 4G traffic systems.com